So instead of a typical video, we're recording it like this. And it's just going to be a conversation of Ashita and myself, Lindsay, talking about a topic that is on a lot of people's minds. Yep. And it's sustainable procurement. talking about the facts so it is the most important fact which i felt like that companies should focus on it and that is 80 percent of the emissions come from the supply chain and that's why the, you need to start with your suppliers and the second thing which like astonished me is like reducing supply chain cost from nine percent to four percent can double your profit which can have a huge impact on your supply chain and your profit as well, which is like a very valuable part of it. And yeah. and the second and one more is like purchasing practices. If you reduce, if you can see the environmental, the impact of environmental practices uh, on that is like fifteen to thirty percent. And if you reduce that you can get like a 55% higher ROI than your industry peers. That is also like wow. astonished me. So Lindsay, like, wow. what do you think about that? That's crazy. Mm -hmm. So I, I can see now why those bigger companies are putting pressure on their supply chain to make these changes and become more sustainable because it's saving them money. Uh, yes. It definitely makes sense. And 80% of emissions coming from supply chain is pretty insane. Um, people don't think about that. So that's cool. And like, we want to go over some steps, like how we can help other companies yeah. that they can go through. So, uh, okay. So steps to being, uh, to your sustainable procurement practice. I'm going to come, well, I guess I'll go over four of them if you want to jump yeah. in too. So the first would be to understand the timeline. Um, and this I would say because businesses have so many priorities, you need to know like when do we need to roll out the sustainable procurement policy and why. So sometimes you need to do it because your investor is asking, for example. So it has to be done this year, for example. Exactly. So understand what is the timeline? What is the broader picture? And what are the K KPIs or the key performance indicators on it? So that everybody understands why it's part of the strategy and yeah. even your executive team, everyone. That's probably step yeah. one. And then step two is the groundwork. Um, and Ashita came up with the perfect example, which is the SMART goal. So yeah. you probably heard of SMART goals, but that's, it should always be specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, yep. and time bound. <laughs> um, because too often we both, and probably you too, see companies committing to somebody something by just saying yeah we're gonna we're gonna do this thing and yeah. there's no like structure so if you say you want to become more sustainable in your procurement practices come up with some smart goals around it uh okay the step three would be outline your plan for achieving this and um so we actually talked about this just before doing this recording we have a client that they have about 1500 suppliers, which if you can believe that, that's huge. Yeah. So they're not gonna be able to tackle all 1500 from the get go. So what they're gonna do is start tiering their suppliers into groups. So the group they'll focus on first to make sure they understand their, their practices would be the top 10% that they spend the most money on. Yeah. Cause that's probably what, like, you know, that's, that's not many. So they could yeah. go one by one and have each of those companies tell them if they track greenhouse gas emissions, et cetera, yeah. right? So that's kind of the game plan. And then Ashita, I'd say the fourth step is just always continuously improving. Yeah. So nobody's going to be perfect. I think that's like our tagline, like yeah. every step forward matters and nothing is perfect, but like, please start uh, coming up with a, a perfect sustainability procurement policy is impossible, but the next best thing is just having one. Yeah. So go get one, figure out what matters to your business and then go find your suppliers that already do it. And then encourage your suppliers that don't to start doing it, give them a time frame, and then maybe pick different suppliers if those suppliers can't achieve what you're looking for. Exactly. That's great. Cool. Lindsay, 
for doing this video with me again. I hope people find it awesome. Like it is. <laughs> Thanks. And if you have any comments, let us know because we're sort of a uh, we're here to educate you, but we're learning as we go every single day by the clients we're working with or the other professionals we're meeting. So please comment and and let us know what you think. And give us next ideas for our videos. We would be really open to it. If you guys really want to know about sustainability in business, then we can any any particular topic we can do it. Yeah. Thank you. Love it. 